All right, this is a video tutorial for Snapchat Salamander. I'm gonna go through the dependencies, kind of linking the dependencies, and also setting up the application. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and download and install Android Studio. I'm downloading version 3.5.3, 64-bit. Go ahead and save that to desktop. Go ahead and close this. I'm gonna bring the installer into view. I have a couple monitors, so or a few monitors, so if it pops out of view, I'll bring it back in. All right. We'll continue with this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Do not import settings. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set up the environment now. We're gonna go ahead and do standard. It's gonna go ahead. It's gonna go ahead and get the emulator, build tools, and all these other resources. We need all of these. Um, especially the Intel um, emulator accelerator. Depending on whether or not you have Hyper-V enabled or installed, this will work or it won't work. Um, I'd recommend getting it, getting it going though. It seems to be helpful. So it's gonna go ahead and download all those components right now. So I need to point out this Intel Haxam installer will not work if you have Hyper-V enabled on your system. However, the emulators will still work with Hyper-V. Um, you might want to play around with that, right? All right, so that's finished there. Now, the first thing you need to do after all that's done is create a new studio project, a blank one, so you can use the en environment here. Just call it my application. It's gonna save it to here, no problem. All right, now the studio is loading. Now, this is where some might get lost. And uh, you can see down here, we have two processes running, right? 
And so if you if you hadn't seen these, you might have gotten lost with the next step. So we need to wait for these to finish before we can continue here. All right, it's indexing. Okay, now that that's finished, you can go up to Tools here. Go to SDK Manager. Now, you can see here, it's gonna take you here. It should anyways, if it doesn't, go down to Appearance and Behavior, System Settings, Android SDK here, okay? You can see right now, we have one installed, uh, 10.0. I'm gonna go ahead and install everything up until 4.4. I'm also going to go to uh, SDK tools and I want to make sure we have the Google USB driver installed. The reason why I want to install this is because while Snapchat Salamander can, can use emulators, it can also control USB devices. So if your computer doesn't have a lot of CPU or you don't want to use an emulator for whatever reason, maybe for detection reasons, yada, 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 you can actually extend that, um, you know, create multiple threads with that Google USB driver. So. Well, the driver doesn't do it, but it allows you to do it, right? So uh, I'm just going to make sure of everything else we need. All right. You should be good there. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply, and it's going to go ahead and confirm my downloads and the size. I'm good with that. Hit OK, accept, and go ahead and install here. Wait for this to continue. You know, the truth is that you could probably get these resources independently, um, you know, but this just, this studio and this format makes it a lot easier to manage. As you can see clearly.
All right. So that's finished now. Go ahead and hit OK. All right. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and load up our AVD manager. And uh, for uploading purposes and also for uh, reusability, I'm going to go ahead and stop this first video here. This is um, how to set up the dependencies for Snapchat Salamander.